please give a big round of applause to Andrew Moore. Thank you. Hi there. As he said, my name is Andrew Moyer. I just recently graduated from Carleton University. I got myself a degree in film studies. So I'm fucked. <laughs> no, it's true. I mean, that joke did take four years in the making. I did write that. Um, I did take some cool classes when I was there, though. Um, I took a cool class. It was Pornography 101. I know these guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Them, not so much. But I did, I took that class. It was a cool class. I, I had fun with it. Like, who wouldn't? And this is a true story. This actually did happen to me. I, uh, I was sitting in class and I was just watching, we were all watching porn together. It was a great <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm not fucking with you. This is true. And there was 200 sweaty 20 year old, 18 year old guys all concealing our boners. And we were all watching it, and, and no word of a lie, some girl walked into the wrong classroom. <laughs> and she like, and it was like a rush, like she ran in as hard as she could, and she's like. <laughs> and like the most awkward way to walk out of the classroom. And what I found even better about this story was the fact that the room that I had Pornography 101 in was the exact same building that women's rights was in. <laughs> the girl, there's a very big possibility that the girl that was going in to this classroom that went to the wrong room, she was from women's rights and she just opened it up and was like, well, that's not right at all. <laughs> all right, this next part of my act is my favorite part when I do this. Um, it's when I do some impressions. So, I want any of you guys to yell out any impression, and I will try my best to do it. Anybody? Anybody? Any impression? Christopher Walken! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Hi there! Christopher Walken! I've done a lot of movies. I think that was the one, number one. Okay, let's try another one. Anybody else? Darth Vader. Elmo. Darth Vader. Elmo! Elmo is a great... I love him, yeah. Alright, this is my impression of Elmo played by Christopher Walken. <laughs> Hi there, Elmo. Did a lot of movies. All right, and I'm gonna do another impression for you guys. All right, this time I wanna do a historical figure. How about somebody, a great person from history? Anybody? Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln, all right, that's a good one. I like him, good American president. All right, this is my impression of Amer uh, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> that was my impression of that. <laughs> I, uh, segue. I have a theory that there's a little bit of evil in every single person. Like, this is just a thing I believe. Like, I know there's evil inside of me. And if any of you are like, no, that's not true at all, that's bullshit, because I know it's true, and I can prove it to you, because I know that every single one of you, you at least want one person to bomb tonight. Like, I know, like, it's just deep down, you want somebody to bomb. But as stand-up comedians, we know, we know that, that eventually we're going to bomb. All the greats have bombed, like Chris Rock has bombed, Louis C.K., Jim Carrey, Eddie Murphy, uh, Richard Pryor, Adam Sandler, they've all bombed in their lifetime. A stand-up comedian who doesn't expect to bomb is like a fireman who doesn't expect to run into a burning building to save a child. Yo, Jim, you gotta run to the fire, you gotta run to the fire! <laughs> you, gotta, there's a kid, you gotta save the kid! <laughs> a stand-up comedian who doesn't expect a bomb is like, it's like a, ter a guy who joins a terrorist organization and doesn't expect to have to commit suicide when he goes on the plane. <laughs> so, so how do, how do I get off? <laughs> you, you don't? <laughs> A stand-up comedian that doesn't 
expect a mom is like a guy that goes to McDonald's every single day and doesn't expect to get supersized himself. <laughs> oh. oh shit. <laughs> A stand-up comedian who doesn't expect a bomb is like a guy that gets a degree in film studies and expects to do something in his life. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.